In an unprecedented move which may very well be unconstitutional and illegal, President Emerson Umengogwa has appointed Zimbabwe Defense Forces Commander General Philip Valerio Sibanda, popularly known as C.D. Gwenzi within the liberation struggle Zipra Circles, as an ex-officio member of the ZANU-PF decision-making administrative organ. The Politburo the dramatic move signals a heightened coup-proofing strategy and further militarization of politics, especially after his recent appointment of Lt. Gen. Anselm Nemo Sanitui as Zimbabwe National Army Commander under heavy political pressure from the Army. Sanitui, former commander of the Presidential Guard who was instrumental in staging the 2017 coup against the late former President Robert Mugabe, is Vice President Constantino Chiwenga's close ally and the man Umningogwa does not trust. Announcing Sibanda's surprise appointment at the ZANU-PF annual conference in Gweru today, Umningogwa said the amended 2023 party constitution gives impetus, urgency and renewed focus to the socio-economic and political realities of our country towards lifting many out of poverty and into prosperity. During the course of the year, we lost one of our party stalwarts, C.D. Joshua Teek Molina, who was the Secretary for People with Disabilities. To fill the vacancy, I am appointing C.D. Rose Mpofu of Matabililand South Province as a Politburo member and the new Secretary for People with Disabilities. Additionally, C.D. Gwenzi, General, Philip Valerio. Sibanda. As an ex-ex officio member of the Politburo. However, Section 211 of the Constitution says, the defense forces must respect the fundamental rights and freedoms of all persons and be nonpartisan. National in character, patriotic, professional and subordinate to the civilian authority as established by this Constitution. Sibanda's appointment runs against the letter and spirit of the Constitution.